welcome back guys to Game of Thrones. We are now with Garrod and company. Cotter's still hurt. Over there. So when were you gonna tell me he's a fucking Wavi? Not now, Finn. What is that? That's not spooky. Come on. Is this place an old haunting camp? We can rest here until your friends attack us again. I know the signs, all right. It's abandoned. Ah, I'm gonna go make sure nobody's lurking around out here. Don't trust this fucking place. Fine. Here. Let me take a look at it. Not bad. Apply herbal poultice. <laughs> Poke. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna be an ass. Not now, at least. Maybe later. Just relax, will ya? What is that stuff? Ah, oh, it smells like sick cow. The maester at House Forester used it on my leg once. I'm not sure what it is actually. But it works. Do you even know what you're doing? Nope. Hold that there. You almost done. Poke. <laughs> no. Still gonna be cool. Oh god. Does it have to be so tight? It does if you don't want to bleed to death. Yes, maester. Oh. oh, you got anything to drink? This far north and I still have to fetch the fucking wine. Some water or something, please. I'll see what I can find. Uh, can you make a fire and melt some snow? Let's see what's in here. I'll talk to him first. You find any water? Not yet. Uh, no, never mind. Let's see what he's up to. Still don't trust him, you know. I know. He nearly got us all killed. Fuck, maybe that's what he wanted to happen. Why else would he bring us here? Calm down, dude. Hey, look. Just give Cotter a chance. It's not so bad. I did give him a chance. And look where we are. Inside here. Let's see if I can go around here first. I'll go inside this one first. Whoever was living here must have left. Too bad they didn't leave anything behind. I guess the other hut then. Spears, token, sketches. Look at the sketches. Strange. Guess there's not much to do up here. Bear, fish, spider. Oh, I've seen this before. Don't move. Oh, crap. I'm warning you. Oh, she's a little one. Oh, I'll... I'll gut you like a fucking fish. <laughs> you do look like a sad little fish, don't you? That happened a lot. I can fix it for you. Won't take long. Ah. Don't Ouch. try that again. Step back. Wanna kill her yourself or should I do it? Garrett! Drop your weapon! Is that? Garrett! Oh, she knows him. 
Finn! Just let us go. We'll leave. That's what you want, isn't it? Cotter! Oh, Sylvie. Brother and sister? You're alive! Who's this fucking snowball? I told you I'd come back. Who are these people? They're friends. <laughs> right. You brought crows here. And who the fuck are you? I had to. You planning on introducing us, Cotter? Right. Uh... Huh. This... Yep. ...is my sister, Sylvie. Sylvie! Hello. She's nice to meet you. She's the reason I brought you here. She can take us to the North Grove. Hmm. Whitehill's home. Lord Roderick. Lady Alyssa. Gwyn? Roderick, may I have a word? Thank you for accepting my father's invitation. I wasn't certain you'd come, but it's a good thing you did. Be honest with me. Am I in danger here? My father honors guest right, just as you do. And I'm supposed to trust my life to that. I told you I'd try to talk sense into my father. And you did your part, putting up with Griff. Uh, I no. know how difficult mm. that must have been for you. Uh, it became easier. But it will all be for nothing unless you listen to what my father has to say. You need to take him seriously today. Which means keeping a level head and thinking before you jump to conclusions. I'm here in good faith, aren't I? Yes. I suppose you are. You have an impressive stronghold, Lady Gwyn. These walls hold a thousand years of White Hill history. A thousand years of bloodshed. But our houses were close once, and could be again. So much of our history has been lost. Shall we get on with it? The Great Hall is this way. I don't see how this can go well. All points lead to bad. Are your soldiers expecting trouble? They're ready for anything. The way they see it, the enemy is within their walls. What's this? M my lady? Give us a moment. Is this your family? Shortly before Griff was born. Are these your brothers? The eldest three, yes. Carl died of grayscale a few years ago. Ebbets at the Citadel. Torrin serves Roose Bolton. And Griff, of course, wasn't born yet. Your father doesn't smile much, does he? He used to. When my mother was still alive. The father isn't one for portraiture. But my mother wanted this made. Or so my brothers told me. Is that your mother? Yes. Though I hardly remember her. She died not long after this was made. That must be you. A <laughs> much younger me. Yes. You look a bit like your mother now. My brothers were never kind to Griff. He was boastful, gullible and quick to anger. But my father always defended him. A white hill is a white hill, he'd say. Come on, we mustn't keep my father waiting.
I have a feeling something's gonna go really bad. Yeah, this this is not good. Where's your father? Strange. I'll go find him. Oh man. Why did we come like here? Let's be ready to defend ourselves. Just say the word, my lord. Ryan for Griff. That is the plan. Maybe we should have brought the Glenmores. I'll look around. See what we're up against. Oh, crap. We're trapped in here with a bunch of people with uh, freaking crossbows. Ah, uh, doesn't look too good. Are you all right, Mother? I don't know what Lud's planning, but I'm not leaving here without Ryan. Not when we're so close. I won't just turn and abandon him. Just stay close to Duncan. If things do get bloody, he's your best chance of getting out alive. Mother, look at this. This ironwood's cracked. I'm not surprised. The White Hills were never any good at the craft. Oi! Step away from that! Duncan here, see what he thinks about all this. What's Lord Whitehill planning? He said he wanted a truce. And I believed it. I hope I wasn't a fool. Just follow my lead and we'll be fine. Alright, let's go check out that door. from the other side. Oh boy. Roderick! Welcome to High Point. Lord. You're not nervous, are you? <laughs> I remember the red wedding. Yep. Rob Stark went to a feast, and look what happened. I'm nothing like Walder Frey. <laughs> and unlike Stark, you don't even have bodyguards. Father, please. Yeah, that probably Can wasn't a good plan. Can we just get on with this? Called High Point a keep for the gods. What stonework, he said. What craftsmanship. He wouldn't stop talking about it. If you ask me, I'd say he was envious. High Point is very impressive. It is, compared to your pile of timber. Lord, where's Ryan? Always worried about your family, aren't you? Let's toast to family! Won't you toast with me, Roderick? As a symbol of our... I'll go along with it. To family. For now. To, to family. family. Oh, something in the drinks. 
Now, tell us why we're here. The Ironwood business is thriving, Roderick. I'm nervous about fact, everything right now. The Boltons want weapons faster than we can make them. And when Roose Bolton wants something, I like to give it to him. So, in other words, you need our help. <laughs> Don't be so damn full of yourself. You foresters are headed for destruction. Yet, you know more about Ironwood than any house in the realm. Would be a shame for all that knowledge to be lost. Help me craft Ironwood for the Boltons, and I'll make sure you foresters survive. That's absurd. If you think you can threaten I'm us... I'm not threatening. I'm offering. We help you, you don't kill us. Is that it? Roderick, this could save your house. She's right. I'm throwing you a rope. And asking us to tie it around our necks. You see what I have to put up with? Just give him time. I told you... I offer you peace. And you spit at it. I offer you opportunity. And you call it extortion. I've seen this coming since you refused to kiss my ring. Here's how it's gonna go, Roderick. Either you agree to my terms... Or I'll have Griff tear Ironrath to the ground. He'll put it to the torch. This isn't the way to Let get what you want. They're making slaughtering your small folk. Maybe you'll even make you watch. I'm afraid your son is locked in our cell. He said it. I didn't. What are you talking about? We've taken Griff hostage, along with every soldier in your foul garrison. <gasps> you didn't. You've imprisoned my son. He was there by order of the Warden of the North. Roderick, how could you? I'll gladly return him if my brother returns home. We want Ryan back, and we want him today. Bring the boy. I still don't see this going well. Ryan. Something bad's gonna happen. Roderick. I thought you'd forgotten about me. Uh, no! Father, no! What are you doing? You imprisoned my flesh and blood. Oh, crap. Mine! Let him go! He's not going anywhere! Listen to her! Don't I do this! I swear by the gods, if you hurt... The lady, get down! Let him go! Or I'll have Griff This is killed. not what we agreed. I'm him! Not me. If you want to see Griff alive again... You think I'd get two shits about Griff? About my fucking fourth bone! Oh, oh shit. Because you forest has never I'm learned. I'm not afraid of you! Just say the word, my lord. Kill me! Right. And we all die! Roderick, do something! Let me go! Please! I'll kill you myself! Roderick, help him! Please, Lord. Don't do this. Oh. So now you beg. Yes. I'm begging. Things don't have to end this way. I meant to press triangle. You're lucky I, I hit both. Uh, Square came uh, out. Ryan, come here. No. We'll make the trade on neutral soil. Griff for Ryan. A son for a son. I'll take that deal. As long as no one dies. Fine. Now, get the fuck out of my hall. And the gods have mercy on us both. When the Boltons come for their ironwood. Now go. I'm not gonna say anything, I'm just gonna go. I'm so sorry, Roderick. <laughs> Iron from ice! Okay. Okay, I'm glad I accidentally pressed square now. I wanted to attack. Alright, I'm gonna stop here guys, after that intense moment. We're gonna continue on with Asher and Marine freeing the slaves or whatever they're doing. Hope you guys enjoyed, see ya!